Hey everyone, it is Marco here, back once again from the My Color Screen channel, and welcome to part two of this two-part series, where I'll be explaining to you exactly what Zupa Widget Utilities is all about. In part one, I went through exactly how to set up an incredible looking Android lock screen, and in this part, I'll be working off that lock screen. So if you haven't seen it, please check in the link in the description below, or click on that annotation right there. As in this video, I'll be explaining to you exactly what Zupa Widget Utilities is, and exactly how to use it. So without any further ado, let's start today's new video. So what exactly is Zupa Widget Utilities? Zupa Widget Utilities is a simplified color management tool for Zupa Widget. Instead of having to go through multiple modules, widgets to change their colors in your setups, you have one central place in order to do it. But why should I care? As a designer, instead of having to do multiple versions of your widgets to get color schemes such as highlight colors, dark light variants, etc., you only have to do this widget setup once and then provide different color profiles for your setup. This essentially reduces the time to some degree, with the added benefit that your users can now adapt the setup to their liking, to their wallpaper, their setup, or even just their favorite color with ease. With the new pop-up color dialog, Zupa Widget Utilities is also great for prototyping because you can see the color change instantly on your home screen. Now as a user, say you want these awesome Zupa widgets, but the colors don't match your wallpaper. And you don't want to edit multiple widgets or modules, or you just don't know how to do it. If the designer used Zupa Widget Utilities to design their widgets, it is a lot easier than you think. Open the app, import the color profile, and then simply change it to get the color as you need it. It will automatically be applied across multiple widgets, and with the pop-up color option, it's really easy to find a color that looks good on your wallpaper. Please take note that the designer has to first implement this functionality within their Zupa widgets in order to get this awesome app to work. Part 2. How to use Zupa Widget Utilities when importing files. Great, so now that you understand a bit more about Zupa Widget Utilities, I'll move on to how to use it. Let's go back to that lock screen I set up in the previous video. Remember to click the link if you want to see exactly how to set up this amazing lock screen. To import Zupa Widget Utilities files, you can either paste them into the color exports folder, which is found in the Zupa Widget Utilities folder, located on your phone's main SD card directory. Or, and this is to me much easier, to simply tap on the file. And this will open the file directly in Zupa Widget Utilities. Where you can then either select copy or copy and apply the file. This saves you from opening the app and then selecting the import in the drawer. Here it has two options. The first option will append the imported color variables to the current ones in the app or update the colors if the imported variables already exist. Part three, how to use Zupa Widget Utilities for editing variables. So now we have the Elysian Fields color variables in our hands. And this, my friends, is what makes Zupa Widget Utilities so special. Let me show you. Say I set up a dark wallpaper. Now all my widgets look terrible and I pretty much can't see anything. Changing all their colors can be quite a pain, especially when you have added quite a few modules within your Zupa widgets. Not with Zupa Widget Utilities. Simply open up Zupa Widget Utilities. Here you'll see the variables that you have now imported or created. Swipe across to the variables that you want to edit, or open the side drawer to jump to a variable. It's completely up to you. Change the color using either the color code or your keen eye and hit the change color button. It's that simple. The color of your module will now be changed. Do it for the rest for these lock screen widgets. I'll stick with whites and light grays so that they'll stick out really well. Then exit the app and open up widget locker. As you can see, all the colors of the widgets have now changed. And it took about the 10th of the time it would usually take for me to change each one of those colors. Incredible. Part 4. 
how to use Zupa Widget Utilities when creating variables. To start off, add a new color variable in the app by selecting the plus icon within the action bar. Choose a name for your variable. For example, MCS underscore color. Next, go into your Zupa widgets and then into that module that you want to change and then enter the advanced parameter option. Based on the module, you can then choose the appropriate color tags. Currently, Zupa widget supports the following colors to be changed by the advanced parameters. These are your text or rich text, your rectangular modules, and then your progress bars. Next, enclose your variable name in the appropriate tag. For a text module, the content of the advanced parameter option will be open brackets, C, close brackets, pound sign, T, M, C, S, underscore, color, pound sign, slash, C, close brackets. And that's about it. Now the color of this module can then be changed by adjusting the color of the appropriate variable within Zupa widget utilities. How cool is that? If you want your modules to have the same color, reuse the same variable for all of them. And if you just want different parts to be able to change the color individually, just simply create more variables. If you're done with your setup, export the variables to a .zw file via the export option in the app drawer. It'll then be saved to the SD card Zupa widget utilities color exports folder, which we mentioned earlier on. And you'll then be able to share that along with your Zupa widget templates. You can even create multiple color schemes, save them to different files, and you'll then be able to change the look of a widget or multiple widgets with the import of one file. So hopefully now you have an incredible looking lock screen and you can now change its colors both with ease and in less than half the time it would usually take thanks to Zupa Widget Utilities. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up as well as to please subscribe to the My Color Screen channel if you haven't already. Other than that, also don't forget to check out our various social communities. And last but not least, don't forget to check out My Color Screen's official one-click theming launcher titled Thema Beta, available free from the Google Play Store. Other than that, it is Marco here from the My Color Screen channel. And as always, don't stop customizing.